All right, part two that I was not expecting. This is a complex transformation here. Um, I was not expecting that from this toy. I was expecting his head, however, to stay up, which would be awesome. It's like they made it so they could pop off, and then it, that's all it does. <clears throat> there. It's not the problem that it's popping off. It's the fact that it's his head was facing down instead of up. <laughs> um, can I pull the visor up? No. That's a bit disappointing. All right. taller than I was expecting. There we go. So now I gotta try to figure out this. This is this is weird. I need a zig and I should have zagged. There we go. One of the kibble pieces from the uh, old design still sticks through, which is a little annoying. I think I did it. <laughs> it shows these guys are supposed to sit on top here, but they don't have any like foot bags. That's funny. Oh, its visor does come up. I just don't know why it wasn't doing it. There, you have to push there. <laughs> awesome. I'm happy now. Look at that. Uh, I think I think I did it, guys. Um, so he's got two things. He's got the Psylocke uh, blade here, which is all fine and dandy. But, oh, no, I didn't press this enough. There we go. Here he is. The Ultimate Expanse X-Men Transformer. Um, this thing is huge. I was not expecting him to be this large. Uh, <laughs> okay. So, this piece that uh, is like the Jean Grey face piece, I don't know how it's supposed to click on here. Um... It shows that the, the Psylocke blade and the Wolverine blade both click there, but it doesn't show what this does. This is just kind of here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be like right on, on the face. <laughs> what are you guys doing? They made this part, and I don't think they made a way to click it on. Um, hopefully someone will figure that out. Because I'm pretty sure it's, like, supposed to be on the face or something. It's, like, Psylocke's little psionic thingamabobber. Uh, but he's awesome. I am, I am rarely, ex so in the last, like, two days I've gotten, or three days, I've gotten a couple of figures. The other one is the, um. Beast Wars Megatron, which I might do a video on as well. I was not planning to, but he is amazing. Um, but this, this figure is worth the money. If you see it in the store, purchase it. If you are into the X-Men, literally at all. Um, it is the Blackbird. Hilariously, a blue Blackbird. But uh, regardless, I, I, a little bit of QC issues I've seen, which is... Just these, um, these are kind of floppy. I don't really like that. Um, his head, it comes off easily, but it's like almost like it's supposed to. Um, which, that makes me actually a little happier because I could probably make a different head if I decided to. Um, 
make some better stuff. You can, if you look here, let's get the stupid Wolverine out of that. Uh, you can push the, the visor down. Um, why they didn't include a visor effect beyond me, um, I make stuff. I might make some of those and uh, sell those. I've also thought about making a couple other X-Men um, specific things because he's got these, which this is like a laser claw. I think I might want them in actually silver because I don't really care for laser claws. I'd rather he actually has a, a physical claw that comes out. Um, the flourish of this. So the best part of this entire figure is literally here. And I might have mistransformed it. Don't watch if you like to be spoiled. So right here, this is the best part of the entire figure. Um, the X symbol is hidden, most likely because that's where the other thing was. It flips down, and then his head does that. But as I said, the head's loose, so it just keeps popping off and driving me nuts. There. No. QC. So this is where I have issues. Some stuff's too tight, and other stuff isn't tight enough there. It's still not there. What the heck? Come on, guys. There. So I folded it up. And this is, uh, I think, yeah, it's supposed to click between those two, but it doesn't really. Still, great figure. Just not the best for flourishing a thing. Um, I'm wondering maybe if I could just put a screw underneath it, it would stay still. That might do it. Uh, but he is amazing. Really good articulation, too. Because this is actually from a Bayverse um, Studio Series figure. So, he is not... Uh, as as tight as some of the uh, the generations versions. So we've gotten um, let's see, Maverick, which I don't have because I just I just passed on it. I don't have nostalgia for uh, for for um, Top Gun. If I catch it on sale, I might pick it up just because to have it. Um, the Back to the Future um, DeLorean, which I have parts for sale on my Etsy. If you or into that. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, Ectotron was the first of this line. That's a, this is a specific... So there have been crossovers and stuff before, and I guess I could go over that a little bit. So the Transformers crossovers series... Um, I think it's maybe two years in now. Ooh, I almost forgot to put that back in. The Transformers crossover series is about two years in. And they're doing what is like something X Transformers. So the company gets the top billing um, that they're doing it for. This one is right here is the Marvel X um, Transformers. And you can see the X-Men and, and that. The other ones had their own uh, specific thing. So right now, if you, if you missed out on the first uh, run of Ectotron... He is currently available um, at Target uh, with an extra ghost, which I, it's a real Ghostbuster ghost. I'd like it, but it's 60 bucks. I paid 30 for my Ectotron. Um, so a comic and an extra ghost is not worth $30 for me. I apologize for my uh, hatred of the fandom. <laughs> so, anyway... I had to pick this guy up. I don't even think there's any more announced after this. This was uh this was the last hurrah here for the um the current current line. I think um if you have any have anything that you'd like to see on this, let me know. Um cuz I really like the 90s X-Men, of course. But this is a People are complaining that this thing's 60 bucks. It's amazing. Look at how huge this thing is. Um, here, I've got my headless Cobra Commander here. This is a six inch uh, G.I. Joe figure. He's getting a hood if you couldn't figure that out. Um, it's a six inch figure. So this is like, what, 10 inches? This thing was huge. 
I, I was not expecting that. It might even be a foot. I don't know. No, probably 11 inches or something. It is a huge. It is well worth the money. Um, currently 60 bucks, I think, um, at Target. If you see one in the wild, pick her up. It is well worth the um, the price of admission. Um, now, if you're looking for just the statue thing, you're probably not going to just buy a cheap one. This is great, though. Um, I'm actually going to say this. I'm kind of mad I didn't get two. Because uh, <laughs> then I could have one in robot and one in uh, alt mode. Because the alt mode for this is amazing. Um, it is the ultimate expanse. So I don't understand what, what the naming convention is on that. Uh, but I've given up trying to figure that uh, currently, the, the, the toy line of the, the Transformers X stuff is all um, what do you call it? Um, my brain's my brain's hitting a hitting a wall here. I haven't had caffeine today, so excuse me. Oh, it's currently that the this is a character. This is not like Cyclops as a Transformer. This is. A Transformer character who lands in that mythos in the X-Men world and then takes a form based off of that. Ectotron has been that. I'm pretty sure that Gigawatt, Gigawatt, whatever you want to call him, um, was as well. This is most likely the same. Uh, Maverick, I don't think, has any, any, any sort of a thing. If you like beach balls and 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 figures, go ahead and get a Maverick. Um, it's kind of where I went. It was fifty bucks. It's the same size, I guess, as this, basically. But no, 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 just didn't seem worth it to me. The painting apps were kind of boring, and uh, I don't know. It's just whatever. It didn't have Tom Cruise's middle tooth. Um, look that up if you want to be horrified. Uh, whatever. This is great. I love this. This is awesome. I want to say they should probably look into doing another version of this, um, possibly with a different color scheme, uh, for like maybe a box set. I'm hoping that they can do some more, more of these because a uh, one and done on these molds, it's, it's nice because they reuse the Jetfire mold, which Go online and look up a side-by-side. -side. I might even post one. Um, oof. The side-by-side, -side, he's like, Jetfire's like this tall. He's all crunched over like a like an old bird man. Uh, this guy's this guy's nice and bipedal. He's not a, not a goofy looking thing. Um, I'm actually still looking to see if maybe I'm missing something else. Because sometimes you ever have that where you just like, you miss a part of a, a transformation <laughs> and then later on you're like wow i'm stupid um because it almost feels like there's more to this guy than meets the eye <laughs> uh, sorry that was actually unintentional but yeah so far i'm gonna give this like a nine out of ten on the old uh uh crossover chart because it is amazing. Um, the articulation helps a lot. A couple of the other ones were a little base on their articulation um, because they were hammed into being like a specific alt mode that wasn't what the toy was originally. This is the original alt mode for the toy. The bot mode is what was altered. So if you find one, pick him up. These things are hard to find. I just pre-ordered one and actually got it, which is surprises me beyond anything. Um, whatever. I'm Alpha Magnus. Them's a toy. <laughs>